Dang, I didn't have a job, uh, um, education is key to success. We have a lot of things, uh, yeah. each one, each one, have to teach one. Hello, I'm Khalil Osiris. Welcome to Each One Teach One. The principle of Each One Teach One has an honorable history in Africa and America. During our struggle for education and freedom, it was often the only way to learn, each sharing their experiences with those about to embark on their own journey for liberation. Today we find out how this long-established system of inspiration and motivation is getting young social and Nguve entrepreneurs to pay it forward. It's a laga gitawang, then Spanisaga gama kwatani, kenale 23 years. Then I was born and raised in Sushanguve, Bloki. Egoho lagi hotzile kogwaga, le mamaga, le antuaga, then le uncle waga. Utawang, the wum duana, oluni le utawangi, utaga wakuliswa umama kinami. Umamake was shown in 2007. So after 2007, I was able to get my own money. I was able to get my own money. Life was a bit challenging. I was relying on her in terms of support. You know the bond that you have with your parent, let's say we have. I was born in 1999. Then, I was born average, I might say it, because I was born in subject that I was born in passing mark. After my trick, I applied to go MSc Business College of which stands for Mind, Skills and Character. I did uh, retail travel for, for three years, of which is uh, nearly, it was nice to do it because I was more into traveling. Then, the ne, ne, problem when it came to doing practicals, it's once we read practicals, like you would find out travel agency, they can't help you because of where now we, you did Amadias go school. But now, Babat Lamu Tuilung Hore, we really galali, of which was an obstacle not just for myself, but the fellow students as well. Utabang, Babat Alelua. In Mali, yaga la public servants are Uma Mark. And a footy Utabani ba ang Sizwa Uma Mnaniwake. I wasn't able to get the story of Galileo, of which is Shelter Mamaga Nanshi Ziona. I fell at the on getting my diploma for MSc Business College. I was unemployed for a year and a couple of months. It was a bit challenging, Mohai, because I live with my grandma and my uncle. Then by that time, my uncle wasn't living here. So, then you know, I'm, I'm trying to get a job. I don't find it. Then, now a positive guy on our. Don't push yourself hard. Why not just be positive about it? Then you will see the results. Then at that point, from her side, but then from my side, I said, no, getting a job, it's something, it's not going to help situations. But then starting your own thing, it will change like perspective. Because you'll be doing something that you like. When you get a negative thing, I will discourage you. Global empowered from you on. 
kana kwewo ka decide ira side hustle of which is was for regisa di hempa then i had the puppies of which is the puppies still i was selling them for ke kre eklisti something yana just to get by a day a month or two then that's when Kimitile eh eh Brian Mukokolo eh Tato Luis Molepo of which is ke batho ba ileng hore when we when when we met na go ke hlakana le bona we we wanted to start business so then we grew up ka idea hore okay ar thomeng ntware then after mo busana invited us go be empowered na re botsa are it could be good for us in terms of Very era, Ivan. It relates because we would learn a lot from being empowered. Then that's when we started a conglomerate. Then conglomerate started. Kadi event. The events are now mainly they were focused on the hip hop culture. It's the culture every introducing Mohai. They they incorporated sports, nele. Skating, graffiti, and basketball. When we first got into our home sevens, we got into our conuk sevens. No matter if we look for business, ah, we look for business. Le indo ezom pumelelis. Na e akona guti abe ne 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 sasalak. My expectation after college, nele hore, I'm gonna get a job. Then like bo pelwa kabo vashabo. Go grant to me when we get your car, Ivan. Cause I wasn't looking at it in a picture, Horan. What if you don't get a job, Ivan? But then it 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 taught me a lesson, Horan. In life, you should have a plan A and plan B. Of which is now I was focused on plan A. For South African youth, employment is empowerment. Unfortunately, empowerment that many cannot share in. Rather than wait for opportunity to come to them, Tabong and his friends sought out mentors in their community who put them on the path to entrepreneurship through the implementation of the Each One Teach One principle, practically showing us that empowerment is the process of acting as individuals in the spirit of our collective advancement. Uh, my name is Nel Ramafakena, and uh, I'm from Be Empowered. Um, I am I head up the operations in uh, Be Empowered. Be Empowered was established in December uh, 2014 uh, with um, two other gentlemen, whereby we realized that look, we had succeeded in our individual careers. What we wanted to do is sort of give back into the community, but give back in terms of you know the skills that we've ac uh, acquired in our individual careers. Uh, after attending Be Empowered, Nerfilor, we can take over the world. We can do anything we wanna do because of the positive influence in LinkedIn. You know, on Wednesdays we've got what's called uh, Power Wednesday, whereby you know we go to different um, local pubs, um, whereby you know we bring someone that has succeeded within the township, um, you know, to come share their story, to come share you know the steps, the necessary skills, what what got them to where they are currently. Of which is they build you in a sense of you wanna grow as well. You don't wanna see yourself stuck in the same place. Starting conglomerate, there is no idea, but then we have the uh, the picture of how to run. But then the idea of how are we going to run it? It wasn't there. But then, cause we're really excited to go with you. But Thomas, this thing you don't care how to run how long. You just look at the benefits. You don't. You don't encounter the, the steps it's a long hard. They have to be taken for you to to be able to to have a successful campaign. Mo mo kung glamerity tumiling mo tayong 
and I have great memories of this place. When we started Conglomerate, we started it Reverkisa a free Wi-Fi, Swani free Wi-Fi. The challenge is nearly like working at night, you know. It's not a safe place with you got device with swearing in terms of accessing internet. Mostly mohai moba batswarapo when know when you use your cell phone or your tablet. She wasn't taking it well. But then I said, hello, hi. I want to let the safety out in terms of being safe. It's a my lot. We are in the teams. Conglomerate is a group of intellectuals united together as one to build community development in terms of sports recreation, uh, business registration, then hosting event, then shackle services. Uh, the kind of business Eric Ketilung Huira it was influenced by uh, the activity Sedi Rahalang Mohai. Then our, our mission is to change system Yamu Hai. Because like most of the people Bari Layamu government thing, you know. But then of which is it's 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 bad in a sense yahore. They can't depend on themselves in terms of starting their own thing. Kebawanchi, they have ideas of starting their own thing, but then they can't actually do it. So we are there to help them do it. This is Brian, my partner. He's a technical director in Conglomerate Group. These are the computers that we got from BM Powered and one printer as well. What appealed to us about them was the fact that, you know, they already started um, community upliftment uh, initiatives um, in their own space. You know, it, 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 the Empowered is a movement whereby, you know, we, we include everyone. As much as you want to progress, you know, you need to include uh, your progress with the rest of your community. Company like Do I see what they've done as a positive contribution to the youth, to the community and the youth? Definitely, because I mean, um, first of all, they are role models to the immediate surroundings. You know, they wake up in the morning and they, you know, they're active. They're doing, they're doing, they 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 walk, they're walking towards the right direction. That's number one. Number two, I mean, they bring about um, compliance, um, you know, in the township entrepreneur space, which still lacks. A conglomerate, I see it, uh, it change uh, like the perspective about why it's wearing, the mindset about why it's wearing more high in terms of a positive influence into starting their own thing. The future of Conglomerate is helping uh, the fellow young ones, Lebona, to rely on themselves, just to take them away from the street. Because they are, they are absorbed at heavy level. So of which is, us, us being here, we are able to give them a brighter light to shift their perspective into a positive one. So with that being said, Conglomerate guarantees you with the future of tomorrow's business leaders. Tabang, uh, to, today we're here to have um, a discussion about 
something for me that's very, very special in that um, you're actually an example of someone who took an opportunity that was made available to you uh, through a community-based organization and instead of complaining, you, you decided to do something with it that's actually entrepreneurial. Yes. What is, what would you say is one of the most important skills that you learned with or through Be Empowered? Self-growth, to help others grow, to grow the people that surround you. Wow. Nao, I understand you're one of the founding members of this, of this idea. Yes. And um, you didn't wait on government. No. You, you didn't wait on a corporate funder. No. You and some friends of yours decided to take your own resources and make this happen. Why? There's a big need in townships uh, for information. Um, successful people are not approachable in uh, townships. You know, um, successful people become successful and move out of the townships. So we don't have the right role models within townships. That's why, you know, there's a lot of social ills as well. And if you look at the whole program, um, how it's structured, um, it creates that direct bridge um, from, you know, someone that's not successful to someone that is successful. So it's that access um, to information that we feel, you know, it's a big need and that the movement, um, you know, uh, 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 satisfies. And, and Gogo, did you notice anything special about him when he was little that, that would have made you think that he would someday be an entrepreneur, be a businessman? How was he? What, what, what did you see? Even as a little boy, mm. he had a sense of how to save. He, he had a sense of business. Mm. Did, you, did you envision that you were becoming a businessman? <laughs> what no. was your thinking? <laughs> no, not in that point. No, as you grow, you learn a lot of skills that develops you as an individual. That makes you to take note of the things that you did, but then you couldn't see them do, doing, doing them. So, Neil, is this what you hoped for? You know, the vision that he carries every single day um, is exactly how we wanted it from the onset. The, 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 the great thing about um, him and the group as well is that, you know, they share the common vision and they understand that, you know, building something worthwhile does take, um, you know, some time and they understand the importance of building it organically as well. Um, you know, which is exactly what we need to show, um, to showcase in communities. If you look at where their business started, I mean, it started right here at the back of the, uh, uh, of the, of the back of the house. And right now, you know, they, 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 they've got offices. And we're talking about six, 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 seven months? Six months. Six months. Six okay, months. wait a minute. This is a critical point. Because I know some people watching this show, when you say becoming a businessman and becoming an entrepreneur, for a lot of people it's scary because it seems like it's so long, it's going to be so many years down the line before you can really even have anything that you can stand on. But this actually goes against all of that conventional wisdom about how we start a business. Number one, you started where you are. Yes. You didn't wait for anybody to give you anything. Number two, um, you actually are up and running already yes. in less than a year. So this is something that can happen now. Every business has got its nature. Um, you know, it's understanding the nature of the beast. Um, and it's got its own timelines, it's got its own lessons, it's got its, um, and, 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 and passion as well, um, plays a big role. T Tabang, what is driving you? What, what drives me is the passion of being what you want to be, despite what you come across. But then the matter of effect is growing yourself, growing others, share the knowledge as much as you can and skill transfer. I know how so many of us who could do more mm -hmm. don't. 
That's uh, what, yeah. And it's not sometimes that we don't care, it's that we don't know how, we don't know what, we don't know where. If you look at the Cuban Revolution, um, how they got it right, especially, you know, it was an illiterate country. How they got it right was literally whoever was in grade eight, their responsibility would be to mentor someone in grade seven and so forth. The next person in grade nine would mentor someone in grade, uh, uh, grade nine would mentor someone in grade eight. So, you know, it, you don't have to be a multi-billionaire to teach someone how to make a thousand rand a day or 10 rand a day, wherever you are now, whatever you've managed to do now, teach the person that still needs to do what you've done. That's the very heartbeat of each one teach one. We believe that each person has power yes. and each person has an opportunity mm. to contribute something of value to the next person. And so you're right. I, I think you're absolutely right of not having to wait until you make it. But as you are building what it is that you desire, what you dream of, you can help. And that's what you're doing. Of course, yes. That's what the conglomerate is about. Yes. It doesn't get any better than that. I just want to say thank you for honoring us with your example. Um, thank you for honoring us with a legacy of support, which Gogo, so many of our young people just oftentimes take for granted because it's there, it's, it's expected. But we want to thank you for doing more than what was expected. And, and to you, Nail, uh, we can only say that we wish you great success in inspiring other, other young men who um, are determined to use their, su their success for something bigger than themselves. And for those of you who are watching today, what I hope you take from this as a learning, as a lesson, is that you can start where you are with your reality and you can cha change and transform the world from that space just by getting started. Leaders are not those who walk in front of us, but beside us sharing their learnings and encouraging others to take their first steps. Just as BEE inspired Tabong to start his own company, The Conglomerate, today that learning ripples out as Tabong and his colleagues walk with others as youth leaders in their community, not just pointing the way to an employed future, but showing, by example, results come from empowering ourselves through sharing what we know. I'm Khalil Osiris. This is Each One, Teach One. Until we meet again, stay in the light.